on the chats. The Magic Pumpkin Dongus with the 25. Uh, I, Nick, I have a Coach Belt 01 a Cadillac DeVille with 69,000 miles on it. I got for 6K and I daily it. Should I trade it for a Perfect Japan Import uh, RHD BMW E36 with 21,000 miles for 12K or should I keep rocking my grandpa boat? Keep rocking the grandpa boat until the thing falls off. That fucking BMW, everybody's got a fucking B, uh, an E36, man. Those fucking cars are everywhere. It's fucking, it's, I don't know, that, that ship sailed. I'm so fucking tired of BMWs. Yeah. I like the new BMWs, but the old stuff, I'm just, it's a fucking, I mean, yeah, you, you feel like a fucking 18 year old kid the whole time. And the older guys that have fucking BMWs, like I have an old one, all I do is feel like a fucking weirdo with it. Because like every, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to fucking kids. Yeah. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. I mean, it's not, a, they're, they're, they, don't, they don't even move. They're not fast at all. But they do handle well. And they do drive well. The seating position and everything. But and they're grunty and they pull. But I don't know. The caddy's better. Keep it. The caddy's a piece of shit too. I mean, I know. I'll call it what it is. The caddy's a total piece of shit. But if you got a good running one, fuck it. You made it through the gauntlet. Uh, I am 25 and I had 60k in savings, but I bought a 19 Mazda 3 GT for 27k. Uh, it's about a year later since, and I'm living at home with 40k in savings. Uh, was mm. buying the car a bad call? I want to be able to purchase a condo in the future. No, man, I like Mazdas. They're cheap to fix. I, I'm not hating on Mazda. I think Mazda's doing things that Acura was doing in the mid 2000s. Yep. Um, Ford's working pretty hard with that that brand to. Um, just create, I think style wise, <clears throat> Mazda is doing good. I think Mazda is doing good work. I don't hate, I don't hate the, the brand right now. Um, I would, I, I'm, I'm betting that Mazda and Acura have the largest growth in the next four or five years. They're a small, pretty boutique company for the most part, but, uh, they make a Ford product, a stylized Ford product for the most part. Um, that's, that's what, what to know about them. They make like a, they call it an entry premium. I think that's what they call that. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I like I like it. Uh, you didn't make a bad. Just drive the car. If you if you bought a car and you spent you know twenty five, thirty five, forty five grand, you have a car. The key is don't get stupid and start trading in and out of cars. Just drive the goddamn thing until the fucking wheels fall off it. You have a car now for eight years. That's what you need to know about your car with a loan on it. You got Josh Kaye with the twenty five. Mm -hmm. Should I buy an 08 Lexus GX four seventy with one hundred seventy k miles, two inch lift, seventeen inch tires for twenty three thousand? Wow. Interior is near perfect. I could buy a stock GX470, but I would want to lift it. Uh, most of that age have beat interiors. Yeah, interiors are like, you can fix them. Um, no, that's too much money for that car. You need to buy that truck for like 14 to 18 grand. 170,000 miles is, is a high mileage on that, on that car. Um, I know the guy was excited about it, and he thinks they're going up in value, but you'll be able to find one. Not everybody's as hot on those cars. as the, That's it. I love those cars. I used to buy them for my friends. Um, my friend Evan Schiller, shout out, he wanted me to buy him a car. I did the whole deal for him. I bought him an 08 in 2015. I think we paid like 12 and a half grand for it, and it was a mint and it had 100,000 even miles, and the car was like dead mint. Um, they've gone up a little bit, but nah, I'm not paying 23 grand for that car. No thanks. Pass. We got mm -hmm. Rusty Shackelford with the 25. Yo, Rusty. Uh, hey, Nick, you got any ideas for good for a good work car? I'd like something with ubiquitous cheap parts, runs forever, uh, no seatbelt alarms, no glitchy infotainment system, and has mad comfy seats and floats down the road like a dream. Uh, the Buick 3800 motor <laughs> cars. Yeah, you know the drill, bro. He's just baiting you in. Yeah. 3.8 gang is yeah. in the chat. Yeah, 3.8 gang, 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 gang. Um, that's, what I would, that's what I'd be rocking. But I don't know, man. Lexus ES, Lexus LS. I'm not as big of a GS fan just because of the seat position, but I do like uh, ES. I like the fatness of a Lexus. It's very fat. It's a nice fat person's seat, which I am fat. We got Chris Henry with the 2505 Lexus LS 430 with 77K miles for 14K? Question mark. Yeah. Every other one in my area is either double the miles or beat like a bad child. That's a, that's a buy. You're paying a premium, but I'd pay the premium for it. You have a car for a fucking ever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We got user user 101. Thank you for the 25. Looking at an O2 Pontiac Sunfire, Nick. Uh, new radiator and water pump installed. 110k miles only. Uh, 2500 mm -hmm. asking price. Any advice for a young father? I just found out I have a daughter uh, now at 23 years old. Very excited for the future. Hey man, con congrats on that. Yeah man, uh, we can't be buying Pontiac Sunfires, man. Those cars are pieces of shit. Uh, let's make it a 97 or an O2 Camry. A Camry, a Civic. Uh, shit, man, I'll take a Corolla, and I'm not playing games, if you can find one. Um, or if you're doing, uh, if you want, that, that's like a little shit box of a car, I would take a, a small pickup, an S10 even, or a Dodge Dakota. 
literally. Dodge Dakota pickup has more utility value, easier resale. Trucks, you just kind of buy them, drive them, use them. Crew cabs, Dodge Dakotas also came in a crew cab for a light duty pickup or a small, for a small pickup. So that was a big deal. Not many cars came in a four door version and the bed will get you out of some jams. Once you go pickup, you never go back, I promise you. Can't be driving your daughter around on that sunfire. Yeah, dude.